on Las Vegas Now. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Feels like the We're singing hallelujah since the Academy of Country Music Awards announced their performance lineup. Find out what Vegas entertainers will be taking the stage. Las Vegas turning into quite the sports mecca and ahead of NASCAR's Cup Series this weekend, Las Vegas is already the focal point for another race. Also, NCIS star Sean Murray just in Vegas over the weekend, what he only tells Las Vegas now about being in our city and what makes tonight's episode so special. You are watching Las Vegas Now with Lindsay Simon, Kendall Tenney, and Mercedes Martinez. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Las Vegas. There's Ron Paul. There's our crew. Hey, everyone. I'm Lindsay Simon, and I'm joined with Mer Mercedes Martinez. Kendall's off today. We got a big show. We were both off yesterday. I know. It was, it's kind of uh, crazy. Back, I haven't been here since Thursday, and I don't know if we're too early into this show, but. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> it was really weird. Yeah, whenever we don't work together, I really do miss you. I was uh, sending out emo tweets over the weekend, like, I'm really blessed to work with the people <laughs> I work with. And I was just feeling so emotional and loving everyone. So I was just in one of those moods this weekend. Yeah, it's weird when you're gone from the station for a little while. Yeah, but for sure. Well, it's good to be back here. Yeah. Hey, you're looking beautiful in mustard today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, the Academy of Country Music Awards has announced who will be performing on the big night. And the lineup includes some Vegas headliners. Oh yeah, the Backstreet Boys will be making their debut appearance at the Country Music Party of the Year. Nominees Marin Morris, Jason Aldean, Miranda Lambert, Little Big Town, and Florida Georgia Line will also be performing. Luke Bryan and Dirk Bentley are returning to co-host the awards show. The ACMs will be held live from the T-Mobile Arena on Sunday, April 2nd. You can watch it all here on Channel 8, and we'll be there on the red carpet bringing you interviews with country's biggest stars. So it should be a good time. It should be. I've noticed, though, there are a lot of award shows for country music, aren't there? A lot. I feel like we just had an award show for country music. I and know. it's great. They deserve all the awards. It's and great. I think they like to come to Vegas a lot, too. Well, who doesn't? I mean, that community is the best. They're all so nice and so humble. So. Seriously, have you met uh, an egotistical country star ever? No. 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 <laughs> they don't no. exist. It's like a unicorn <laughs> in rare sightings. Anyway, the roller coaster is, isn't, isn't the only thing that's going up over at the Big Apple at New York, New York. Unfortunately, the prices are too. Wow. Individual ride tickets are now increasing to $15. All day screen passes are $26. And the family fun flight for four is going up to $70. But some good news, second time riders, you're still going to get a discount and you can ride again for only $7. So that's that's not that bad, right? That's not bad. And thanks, Carlos, for letting me know that I had lipstick on my teeth. What a great way to start the show, it. lipstick on oh my teeth. Oh, my team. gosh. I'm my bad friend for not noticing no, that. No, no. <laughs> I've never been on that roller coaster. I have, and I was terrified. I'm not good with roller coasters. It's oh. that loop-de-loop. -loop. Those things, they throw me off. Yeah. Once I go on one of those, I, I'm like, no, I'm good with that second ride. I know I get a discount, but I'm good. I'll go play oh. in the... I love roller video. coasters, and I want to go on the stratosphere rides as well. I think we you should jump send off. you to do the live. Do it. I live. love it. I've been skydiving two times, and it was a blast. Really? And now, yeah, I need something new. I need something this new. This adventure to do. over yeah. here. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go do it. Well, it's NASCAR week in Las Vegas, and you can almost smell the racing fuel in the air. Word. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I love this smell. I love NASCAR. You are a NASCAR fan. Oh, my gosh. Well, word on the street and on the track is that there could be a second NASCAR race in our city's future. Our own Chris Matthews broke the news that the Las Vegas Motor Speedway will be announcing a second NASCAR race starting next season for Las Vegas. The official announcement is slated for 2.30 tomorrow afternoon at Cashman. I... I'm so excited because Kurt Busch, Las Vegas native, he won the Daytona 500 uh, two races ago. He is going to be on our radio show tomorrow on Mix 94.1, and that's the first thing I'm going to ask. Is there definitely a second race? Because word is he's going to be in town for that big announcement. Oh. Yeah, just a little sneak peek for you Are there. you pumped? You're really I excited. am. <laughs> Can you tell? I When NASCAR week comes, I don't know. I turn into this different person. I go to the track. I'm there like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you just walk around and just 
You've got to go, if you love adventure, you've got to go to a NASCAR race. And, okay. and maybe we even get you in one of those cars for the NASCAR experience and go drive around. We actually, that was part of a Christmas present from um, my father-in-law. He gave us like an experience and that's one of the options we can choose. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Oh, you are going. You are so going. I'm right. making this happen. <laughs> we'll bring a camera, maybe. <laughs> well, let's check in with Christiane, who's standing by in our newsroom with some of today's local news headlines. Hey. Hi guys, well Las Vegas is bravest going to new heights to ensure the safety of residents here in the valley. Well, today, firefighters from both Las Vegas Fire and Rescue and the Henderson Fire Department were seen climbing and dangling from the high roller. Uh, this is a part of an annual training to brush up on rescue strategies in case a catastrophic event ever hit the high roller. Unfortunately, the last ditch rescue has not been needed. Valley firefighters aren't the only ones who use their unique training ground for practice. Last year, they were joined by firefighters from New York City and Orlando. Vegas Golden Knights still working to hook all they can before the puck officially drops next year. Now, right now, they're hosting a youth hockey clinic for 100 elementary students from after school all stars. Now, the children are getting to learn the basics of hockey through four different interactive stations, as well as take a whack at street hockey games. Today, Republicans unveiled their plan to replace Obamacare, and President Trump tweeted support of that proposal. The replacement plan would keep many of Obamacare's elements, but it removes the individual mandate and most taxes. Now, that's replaced with a massive expansion of health savings accounts and refundable tax credits for low- and middle-income Americans who don't get coverage through their job. Now, it's still unclear how many people would lose health coverage under the new plan or how much it would cost. House committees plan to begin voting on that legislation tomorrow. We're going to have much more on all of those stories coming up in our 5 and 6 o'clock newscasts. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Christiane. And now let's kick it over to Katie with a look at our valley forecast. We're hearing things will be heating up. Is that right? Absolutely, guys. Our first temperatures in the 80s since November 10th. So we are cranking it up. It's been kind of a roller coaster week. Yesterday, our coolest day from here on out. It's all upwards as temperatures continue to climb here into the late week. Right now, we are looking at blue sky, a lot of sunshine out there. Really a nice, pleasant day. We're going to stay dry likely through the rest of the week. My clicker does not want to advance. There it goes. You can see temperatures in the 60s. That's already almost 10 degrees above from what we saw yesterday. Those winds remaining on on the calm side, especially when you compare it to what we saw here this weekend. Today so far, high at 66. We'll talk more about when we'll see temps in the 80s. Coming up, guys, in my extended forecast here in just a couple of minutes. Mercedes, Lindsay? Thank I you. It. I love that weather. Perfect for NASCAR. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, NCIS star Sean Murray sits down with Las Vegas now and drops what job he'd take if he worked in Vegas. I would think maybe it would be, you know, being a dealer to everyone, but then, you know, like, you get bummed out when everyone's, when people aren't winning and they get upset with the dealer and the dealer only wants them to do well. And... <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. <laughs> More with him and what's to come on tonight's episode. And going bald for a good cause. Who is going under the razor to help kids with cancer? That's next on Las Vegas Now. RC Willie's World Property. Inside look at the planned mega resort on 8 News Now at 5. What the hell? Someone there? What are you doing in here? That's an exclusive sneak peek at tonight's new NCIS episode, What Lies Above. The number one drama stars Mark Harmon, Polly Perrette, and as you saw, Sean Murray, who plays Tim McGree. Yeah, the show is on its 14th season, and Las Vegas Now was the only station to sit down with Sean while he was here, and he gave us a little scoop on tonight's episode. He ends up shooting two of the intruders. One of them uh, doesn't make it. The other one gets away, and um, this case, it kind of jumpstarts this case that... Uh, unfortunately leads to a really relevatory thing that I can't get into at all. They won't let me talk about it. And I asked them, but they can't. I can tell you there's a really good surprise coming. There's a really good surprise coming. Uh, but we have to wait. That corsage is off the hook. I know. That is Look at nice. That. <laughs> and while he was in town, we had to ask him about what he loves about our city. And looks like he likes to hit the tables. My favorite part about Vegas is getting on a good blackjack run. 
<laughs> a good blackjack run is a beautiful thing. The more I look at these socks, the more I want to play blackjack. Sean was at the Venetian for an upcoming issue of CBS Watch Magazine. Now you're seeing a sneak peek of one of the shoots, but to mm. see the rest, you're going to have to wait until the special NCIS issue comes out in July. Cumberbund, white suit, I like it. I know, I feel like we're Man's throwing got it stuff. back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Tuesday, which means we get another visit from the NSPCA. Coming up, we're hanging out with this little cutie pie. Aww. But so first, here's today's trivia question. On this day back in 1933, what popular board game was created? We'll have the answer when we return. Ah, uh, spring. Hmm, spring cleaning. Transform your old bathroom into something gorgeous with features that add space and grow bath today. All right, before the break, we asked you what board game was created on this day back in 1933. It's Monopoly. The Parker brothers picked the game up in 1935 and eventually turned it into a household name. And of course, everyone has their own house rules. Well, it is time for this week's Pet Project, a segment sponsored by our friends over at Best Mattress. Kathy Jung joins us from NSPCA, and she brought along someone who needs a good home. Hi, Kathy. Hi. It's always good seeing yes, you again. Nice to see you, too. So who is this, this little is guy? Dustin. Is he not adorable? He's so sweet. Now, he is a little old man. Even though he's 14 years old, he wants to get down so bad and just sniff everything out around here. He's precious. And during commercial, he's so, I walked over and I sat down and he automatically like reached over or reached over yeah <laughs> shook my hand <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> said hello but he's you know stuck his snout out and was sniffing and let me pet him he's very sweet yeah he's very active for a senior dog and you know the nice thing about senior dogs is they're over um chewing on the baseboards and eating the couch you know they just want to be your buddy mm -hmm. he's in a newer environment that's why he wants to get down and sniff and check things out but senior dogs are great great dogs i love it and the last pet that you brought in last week. Yes. Mogwai. Yes. You have some good news about him. Yes. Yeah, so he went home to an awesome family. And Yay. actually, we had a couple families that came down to meet him because of the show. So it was really, it's, it's a really great success that we had on this show. Oh, well, good. And with every adoption, a pet, the pet that you adopt will get this beautiful to pet bed from Best Mattress. Well, now this mattress is probably better than the mattress that I sleep on. Oh, I know for sure. It and is. the nice thing about mine, at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice thing about this, because accidents do happen, is the cover is washable. Very nice. So when you take, when you come and pick up Dustin and take him home and his new mattress, if something happens, you get him home, get him on your schedule, you know, show him where the door is. Something happens, you can just take the cover off and, and throw it in the washer. And I saw Dustin was on there. Yeah, he During was just chilling break. out. He on likes it. it. He loves it. It's, it's, it's Dustin approved. And then there's also this really cool thing that you all have going on if anyone donates to the NSPCA. Yes. So the big give is going on right now. The official day is the 23rd of this month, but it's going on from now until the 23rd. If you make any donation through our... Um, through our online giving project, it's doubled. So it's, it starts at $5, but if you donate $5, it turns into $10. And of course, 20 will be 40, um, and it's up to $100,000. So now wow. until the 23rd, our goal is to collect $100,000 because then it'll turn into two. Oh, How amazing that. is that? That's very yes. cool. And can you explain to people a little bit about, for those that don't know what the Big Give is? So it's Nevada's Big Give. It's actually a super great day because it's a day for us to highlight nonprofit charities just based here in Las Vegas. Now, we have over 2 million people that live in Nevada. Mm -hmm. If everybody donated $5 to their favorite Nevada charity, imagine the impact we could do. Wow. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kathy, thank you. for stopping by. And if you're interested in adopting a pet, head over to the NSPCA on Dewey Drive or call them at 702-873-7722. And thank you again to our friends at Best Mattress for sponsoring our pet project segment and helping these cutie pies find their forever homes. Now, Mercedes, over to you. Well, for over eight years in a row, Las Vegans and visitors alike become bold and brave and they shave their heads in support of childhood cancer research. This Saturday, they'll be doing it again. The St. Baldrick's Day head shaving event guests are of all ages, they're invited to the bridge at the New York, New York to join in on the shaving last year. The event raised more than $200,000 for childhood cancer research, and they hope to break records this year. And joining us today 
from Tom Urban at the New York, New York is Aaron Halen, who's gonna be shaving his head on the air to support this event. Chrissy here is going to be doing the honor. She's got her clippers all ready to go. Now, you gotta talk to me about this, Aaron. This is something you, this is not the first time you've done this. No. I see that you actually have done this before. Tell I us do. more about That's it. I do, that's my pin from last year, very passionate. It's one of the things that we are really, really passionate about at New York, New York. Um, St. Baldrick's Foundation, such a great foundation. Um, cure for childhood cancer, like you mentioned last year, we raised over $200,000. We're trying to break that record again this year, get more money, um, and then more participants this year. So Las Vegans, visitors coming in, Come, come come, join us. I love it because so many people go out and have a great time, all sorts of head shavers out there. So maybe if you don't want to have your head shaved, you can go out and be a voluntary head shaver? Absolutely. Well, we have celebrity head shavers. We have a bunch of celebrities coming in. Um, Terry Fader, uh, a bunch of the cast members from Zumanity, from Human Nature, um, the Coyote Ugly Girls. Oh, imagine getting your head shaved like that or by the beautiful Chrissy. Maybe she'll be out there. Absolutely. I'm Aaron, fortunate enough to have time. that today. Let's do have it. Have a seat. Come here. Let's let's do this. Mm. This is a, this is a stand-up guy because look at these luscious locks he has here. Do you? I hope you don't mind me touching your hair. No, you can't. It's not going to last much longer. It's going. All right, let's do it. Should we do a creative way? Should we give him the reverse mohawk first? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Help I think I here. did that last year too. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There it goes. All for Save Baldrick's. Okay, you're done. Bye-bye. No, just kidding. <laughs> let's do the whole thing. I don't know. What, what else can we do? Can we do a little cross? Yeah, let's do a crisscross. You guys are too fun. I love it. Tic-tac-toe is a game I used to play. <laughs> and then we got the X. Um, how about we turn it into an asterisk? <laughs> right there. Right. Man, you look good, bald. It's Thank you. How I many think I got a pretty good head for it. How many of your employees are going to end up getting their head shaved? So right now, my team alone um, at Tom's Urban, uh, we have five people that are going to get their head shaved. And then uh, the number that uh, complete throughout New York, New York, I, I can't, I don't even know what the number is now, but um, I know that we're going to, we're definitely going to exceed the $200,000 um, this year and, and, and a record for, for uh, participants as well. And look at you getting it started here. I really have to say, you look good with a shaved head. You knew you'd look good, didn't Thank you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the St. Baldrick Head Shaving Event. It is on Saturday, 10 to 9 at New York, New York. Admission is free. And if you're interested in shaving your head, how do you do that? You register? You can. So you can register stbaldricks.org. Um, and then it, if you don't want to, you can just come down. Um, again, there's so much going on. There's going to be live entertainment. It's free. It's open to the public. Um, very family friendly. Uh, balloon art, face painting for the kids, DJs, live music. It's going to be a really, really fun time. Do you think this will grow out in time so you can shave it again on Saturday? <laughs> I will shave it again. I think I'm going to be volunteering. You look great. Since. Oh, thank you so much for doing this, Erin, Chrissy. Thank you. Lindsay, come on over. You're next. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Does Sade look? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, still to come on Las Vegas now, the health stories that have people talking today. Find out how health officials say, how long health officials say you'll want to cut the cord. Plus, there may be new hope for female cancer patients dealing with infertility issues. And drugstores can be a one-stop shop, especially when it comes to searching for the latest beauty products. We are here to navigate you through the top five picks from your local drugstore. Pet Project on Las Vegas Now is sponsored by Best Mattress. Seven, only on 8 News Now. Hey, everyone. Oh! Marcel giving a shout out to his mom. <laughs> Where is she? Is she in Orlando? Yeah. Yeah, Orlando. Uh, well, we are taking a look at the top health stories that people are talking about this week. And we're going to start with a study for you moms to be. You're going to want to hear this. Now, health organizations are asking doctors to wait at least 60 seconds before cutting a newborn's umbilical cord after birth. Typically, the cord snipped within 10 to 15 seconds following birth. But health officials are saying, 
after birth, it continues to carry those nutrients and blood from mom to baby for several minutes. And they feel that if it's left intact, infants can benefit from this additional blood volume, especially those babies that are born premature. Oh, wow. And I hear that people are taking like, or the placenta pills, that's something different, the placenta pills. Have well, you heard that? And people bank the cord blood. I actually did that. Yes. I banked it and I have it just in case there's ever a need for it somewhere on mice. <laughs> and here's another study. There's new hope for female cancer patients struggling with infertility. Doctors say a drug that is already used for slow tumor growth may also help protect ovaries. Lab mice on the drug and chemotherapy had more than twice the offspring than mice on chemo alone. Study authors say such strong results with an available drug may speed the process of applying for permission to test it on premenopausal cancer patients. So good news for them. Yeah, and cardiologists report they can pinpoint heart disease even before patients show any symptoms. Doctors in New York are saying that they're using this calcium scan imaging and it allows patients to make key lifestyle changes like better nutrition and exercise to avoid heart trouble later on. It's good to get a leg up on this. Stuff. I need to make my appointments. I have been bad this past year and I need to do that like after the show. So we'll close. <laughs> well, they're we'll do close. it tomorrow I before I come in. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, it, I need to. Are you good on what, keeping up with your appointments and your annuals and everything? I am. I try to be at least. Um, it's, uh, it's tough though because I'm of the mindset that no news is good news, but that's not always the case. No. You gotta get in there, so. Yeah. Well, something I do like shopping <laughs> and it's it's like shopping on Etsy but without having to wait for delivery the one-of-a-kind shopping event where everything is handmade where it's taking place it's up next furniture for Las Vegas now provided by Walker furniture if you've been in a crash you need what's driving you crazy tomorrow on good day You are watching Las Vegas Now with Lindsay Simon, Kendall Tenney, and Mercedes Martinez. It's almost spring and that means the tax deadline is coming up and here to help you get a higher refund is Nick Maldonado and Oscar Toro from Toro Taxes. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you for having us. So <laughs> it really is that time of the year. I'm about to go crazy uh, with the refunds and do I owe, do I not owe? How do you plan so you get a refund when it's all <laughs> said and done. Actually, there is different factors, and uh, like when you are making like a high amount of money in, in salary of other kind of income, you have to do some plans, especially uh, about like if you if you make more than fifty thousand k, fifty thousand dollars, you have to plan to do some planning like four hundred one k some retirement, and then you can also uh, work with the withholding at your working place. So you go to human resources and tell you, you know what, I, I need to, you to take more money out of my paychecks and that will be increasing at the end of the tax season. Uh, by tax season, you're gonna get more money as a refund. Now is it really, if you think about it, a good thing to get more money or does that mean, hey, I gave, <laughs> I gave my my government my money to play with for a long time. Or, yeah, is that uh, what you want or do you just... Regardless of whether it's the IRS or not, it's always a good idea to get more money. Right? <laughs> yeah, so it, is that really what you wanna plan for? Do you wanna try to hit as close to that zero mark as possible? Ideally, yes, but because circumstances change during the course of the year, you know, you, you might get married, you might have a baby or, or, or what have you, so your tax liability is going to change uh, based on those factors. So it's always good to not just decide at the beginning of the year, but instead continuously plan. Uh, so like you said, uh, during the year, if something changes, you might want to go and readjust your withholdings from your paycheck. Uh, if you want to plan for your 401k, what that does is it lowers your adjustable income. So like when Oscar says, if you're making more than $50,000, but you do uh, set aside some money or, or enroll in a 401k plan, what that's going to do is lower your adjustable income. And in turn, that's gonna make you qualify for credits, which you otherwise wouldn't because right. you're making more than $50,000. And besides that, you save money for your retirement as well. Yeah, time. that's so very that's, important. That's very important. A lot of us look at this as a daunting task, like I don't even know how to do that. How do you find a tax preparer like you guys who know what they're talking about? What are some things that we should look for in finding a good tax preparer? Well, you, you should look for our logo. <laughs> <laughs> look for Toro Tax. <laughs> um, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no, but I mean, seriously, you, you want to look, you, you really want to be careful. It is a, 
there's a lot of bad apples in the business. It's, it's the truth. You know, you want to look for somebody with stability. You want to look for companies that are have been there a long time, reputable companies that actually take time to to prepare their, uh, to train their preparers, uh, provide customer service year round that don't shut their doors at the end of the year. And, and, and what happens if you get audited in July? Exactly. Someone's um, there who has your back, right? Exactly. Right. And, and with the, you know over 100 offices nationally, we're, we're, we're not going anywhere. That's, that's great. We really appreciate the, all the good tips. Anything else as people are wrapping things up? Oscar, what would you say that people really need to be on the, on the watch for? I, like I think said, you know, don't, don't do like paper tax return and try to do it electronically so to avoid frauds you know that um, like like uh, identity theft yes so you gotta be very careful with that we uh, we really want to stress the importance of identity theft is a big thing right now thank you guys so much for your expertise and your advice and if you want to get a hold of Toro tax they have 22 locations like Nick said in Las Vegas give them a call at 1-800-TORO-TAX or visit their website torotaxes.com thank you guys so much thank, thank you, you. All right, we helped you with your taxes. Now we're gonna help you with some DIY projects. Lowe's is turning to virtual reality to help you out. The home improvement giant recently launched this virtual reality center inside one of its Massachusetts stores. Customers wear the headset and use a hand controller to simulate home projects. Currently, the VR center helps show people how to tile a bathroom, but Lowe's says it hopes more tutorials will be offered in all of its stores, and the VR center appears to be at success Lowe's says customers who used the center had a better recall on how to complete a project than those watching how-to videos on YouTube, which I get stuck watching for hours. And if you're more into DIY crafts than home improvement projects, crafting guru Kristen Smith is here now with an easy one for you to try. Hi, Kristen. Hi. Thanks for joining us. And this is cute because I've got a special someone's birthday coming up and I'm trying to come up with some ideas and crafty stuff. So this might be cute. We're making what yes, are we making today? We are going to make these little succulent planters. Super duper easy to do. Should we get started? Yeah, let's okay. get started. We are going to be using chalk paint for these. And okay. um, that's, a lot of times people think of chalk paint for furniture, but we're gonna use it for a craft project. Okay. And we like to do it affordably, so we have already mixed up our own chalk paint and our own color. We've used BB Fro powder. So this is already mixed up, and we've mixed it in just kind of a chocolate brown color. Okay. And you're just gonna squeeze a little bit on your plate like so. Okay. So how did you mix this again? You used this? Yes, we used BB Fresh Chalk, Chalk paint, paint Powder, oh. and that's a powder that you add to any brand, any color of regular latex paint to turn it into chalk paint paint. So oh. that you can do all of these fun, cool techniques with it. Oh. So you're gonna take your paintbrush like so. Okay. You're gonna dip it in the water, and you want, you want a little bit of water in your brush, and you're gonna swirl it around in your paint so that it's a little bit drippy, okay? So okay. we're not using our paint regular strength. Then you're just gonna take your block, and you're gonna go with the grain like so. Just go with the grain, like the same direction as the grain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then take it, you want, your, you want it to be a little bit more wet, so get a little more water oh, okay. on your brush there. Uh -huh. Is this gonna be a fail? <laughs> this is gonna no, be a... not at all. Okay. <laughs> just, if you do, and if, it's, if you get too much paint on there, you can just put a little more water on there. So see how that's dripping on mine like oh, that? Oh, I need a lot more water. Yeah. I see what you're saying now. And then okay. you're just gonna take your, your huck cloth like this, and you're gonna wipe. Can okay. you see that gorgeous grain in there? Oh, yeah. That's how you get that. Here, you can take that okay. and you can wipe. Yours might have a little more paint on it, but we want to use this chalk paint to make it look like stain. I call this a faux stain technique because okay. it's not actual stain because this stuff is not smelly. It's not messy. No smell, right? No. Way more cool than regular no. stain. So we're going to let that dry. We're not going to do the whole thing. We're going to let okay. that dry, and we're going to move to this next block that I've already painted. I painted these earlier today because they're nice and dry. And these, don't, these look just kind of dry and boring, right? So we're just going to finish them up by putting a little bit of wax, dark finishing wax on the end of our brush. Okay. You wanna give me your oh, brush and I'll put some on the too end many of yours. Things. There we go, like that. <laughs> okay. And then you're just gonna go again with the grain. So the same direction as the grain, you're just gonna go from one end to the other, like so, all the way from one end oh. to the other. And then you're gonna take your wax cloth. This is a lint-free wax cloth. There you go, take that. Oh, okay. And then you're just going to wipe it, just to wipe off that excess wax. And you're just gonna wipe with the grain. And the more oh, that you pretty. wipe, the shinier it gets. Doesn't that look gorgeous? That looks really pretty. Way faster than regular stain. Yeah. And did you know that paint could do this? I had no idea. I know, that's what makes chalk paint pretty awesome. And I wanna ask you real quick, there's a whole big event happening in Vegas where people can find yes. crafts like these. Oh yes, it's awesome. It's called Queen Bee Market. It is this week, it's Friday and Saturday okay. at the Las Vegas Conference Center. And we have got all kinds of the best of the best vendors that you see on Etsy, on Pinterest, on Instagram, and okay. excuse me, and they'll all be there. 
Okay. So, yeah. And I'm always on Etsy, so. And you, <laughs> so don't have to do, you. you don't have to do it yourself. You just buy it already made. Right. Well, this is beautiful. Kristen, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for having I me. I really appreciate it. And, uh, okay, it can change your face without any surgery. We're talking about contouring. We test out the palette of colors on our Try It Tuesday, and which ones were our favorite? Plus, Ben & Jerry's now offering cereal-flavored ice cream, the different flavors for sale that your parents refused to buy you as a child. That's coming up. Today on 8 News Now at 5, Nevada's driver authorization cards in the hands of more driving centers. Visit T-RexPlanet.com. Check out that kitchen. Isn't that beautiful? It's <laughs> the best beauty products out there are behind an expensive department store counter. They are at your drugstore. Harper Bazaar came up with the best beauty buys at drugstores. And the first one is Physician's Form Formula Concealer for just under $11. That's quite a deal. Next up is a 4-in-1 Blending Sponge by Revlon for $8. And mix it up with the eyes with Circa's Eye Palette with 10 shades for $17. And add something to your lips with the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints. Only $10. I really like the Physician's Formula. That's Everything. good stuff. It's yeah. good for my skin. And that Circa... So it, uh, it reminds me a lot of the naked palette that everyone's like in love with. I haven't tried that one yet. I have tried the Infallible. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for a drugstore find, so okay. I'm, I'm on board with that one. And, you know, Sephora and Matte Counters, they're not too pricey either. You can find some really great things, including contour palettes. And for this week's Try It Tuesday, Mercedes and I tried out some contouring and highlighting palettes to see which ones we like best. Now, the first one I tried out was this dimensional highlighting palette uh, from Sephora. It's in the color warm. Okay. And if you, oh, we've got a, I'll do it like those YouTube. Oh, yeah. You know, so you don't YouTube see. <laughs> video girls. So basically, it comes with one, two, three, four, five different shades. And it's glossy. So it's not like a powder. It's glossy. And what I like about this is it offers you instructions too. So it tells you what each color looks good with when you blend them. They tell you how to put it on um, the spots on your face to put them on. If you're looking for that like J-Lo glow, this one was my favorite right here. This, I don't know. This is why I don't really do YouTube makeup videos. This one right here. Lunar glaze. Yeah, you just <laughs> stick it in there and then dab it on your cheeks and you get kind of this glow, the, you know what I mean? The key to a good highlight, I've noticed, is that you wanna get it on the highest points of your face, the parts right. that stick out. So that's kind of this area here, this area here. Um, a lot of times when you contour, you wanna get the darker areas, like where you're sunken in, right under your cheekbone, right above your eyebrows, and then usually on the sides of your nose. That's what I've been doing. And I tried out this, uh, this makeup stick. This was really cool. Um, I love it because you can save money. It's a two-in-one. Not only is it a two-in-one, it's actually like a 10-in-one because you have the dark side, which is used for the contouring. You put it up to your face, you get the lines here, which is what I did, but you can also use it as a lip oh, gloss. Really? You can use it on your eyes oh. to get a little glossy glow there. And then on the other side, you have the highlight. And you can see some of my makeup still on it because I use it. <laughs> um, you put the highlight in the regular highlight spots, but again, you can use this to kind of glossy up your eye makeup and get that little glow. And you can use it in other parts, like above your eyes, where I okay. was like, so this is, this is great. I am gonna take this one home because I love that all the different things that you could do with this one. I like that. It's my favorite. And this one was my favorite. There's our last one. Um, I've been using this for about, a week now, I mm -hmm. used it all weekend. We took blog photos and it's my new favorite because it has a bunch of different shades so it can be used for a multitude of skin tones. We've got your light, which can be used as highlighting. I put this under my eyes and kind of right under my cheekbones because some of my bronzer gets like falls down oh, right yeah. here. Okay. So it kind of cuts it a little bit better. And it's powder, which I really like because I feel like it's some, I'm not very good with cream 
uh, contour. You don't like that dewy look, no. I'm just, I don't think I'm very good at it. I love when other people do it, but I like the powder. So this one from Sephora, it's just there. This is the, um, if you want to take a look, Sephora contour. That was definitely my favorite. Yeah, if you ever have something you want us to try, you can just send us a message on our Facebook page and we are willing to be the guinea pig. So yes. just let us know what it is you want us to try for Try It Tuesday. We do it every week. Straight ahead on Las Vegas Now, emojis are going 3D thanks to one man's creation. Just how long it took him to breed a real life emoji snake. It's coming up after the break. Fresh from uniquely L. It's a new kind of you. There, oh, there's intern Alex. Thanks for doing it. I love that We guy. love your hair today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back, everyone. We're taking a look at the trending stories of today. And a lot of people are talking about this. A selective python breeder has created an emoji python snake after eight years of attempting to do so. I don't know he how really you wanted attempt this emoji that. real snake. Okay. Wow. Justin Kobilka breeds snakes with unique patterns and then he sells them. The patterns are caused by recessive mutations that do occur naturally, but it is extremely unlikely to happen in the wild. The extremely rare snake could be sold for at least $4,500. But Justin told Business Insider that he will keep this particular animal due to its uniqueness. Ew. What would you, what emoji would you get on a snake if you could get any emoji? I would emoji? not have anything to do with snakes. <laughs> At all, I, ever. I, I kind of went with the laughing with the tears coming out of its eyes. On a snake? Yeah, I just think there was something kind of funny about that. Well, today is National Cereal Day, and Ben and Jerry's wants you to trade your morning bowl of cereal for some ice cream. The brand new ice cream, they're gonna sell cereal flavored scoops, okay? Each scoop is a, br a blend of crunchy cereal bits. There's fruit loot, which tastes like fruity pebbles, Amazing. Okay, that'd be good. If, for you chocolate lovers, the Coco Loco. That's the Coco Pebbles okay. ice cream. And still, finally, a childhood favorite of many of us here at Las Vegas now, and of course for Tony the Tiger, Frozen Flakes. I'm sure it tastes great. <laughs> um, what would you want? Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon I toast crunch love would be good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What would you pick? Well, it's kind of a cereal based off of a candy. So I don't, the Reese's peanut butter, the Reese's Pieces Puffs or whatever they're oh, called. Oh, the Reese's Puffs. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be pretty good. I'm done with that. I mean, it's just chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah, but still, that's, That'd be good. <laughs> there's never not a time for chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> All right, well, we asked you too, what flavors would you like Ben and Jerry to make next? Carol says Raisin Bran, <laughs> yummy, can't wait. Carol! Raisin, Raisin Bran ice cream. Ice cream? <laughs> I barely want to eat that for breakfast. <laughs> to eat their own, though. <laughs> what did Rob say? He posted Count Chocula. Tell us, what's your flavor on our Facebook page? We want to hear from you. These are some good ideas. I like them. Yeah. Mini Music Makers, the kids from Forbes Elementary join us next. Here's a little sneak peek of what's to come. Ooh. In your closets today. Welcome back. Our five o'clock news starts here in just a few minutes. Let's see what's coming up with Dave Carvassier. Hi guys, here's what we're working on. The Oakland Raiders wrapped up meetings with the NFL stadium and financing committees this meeting, uh, a morning, a day after announcing a potential new backer of the stadium here in Las Vegas. So we'll tell you what this might mean about the relocation moving forward. If you usually pay for stuff with your debit card, you may want to reconsider. Consumer advocate Michelle Mortensen talking how to avoid what she calls debit danger. And for the last three years, Nevada's had an additional permit for drivers who may or may not be U.S. citizens, the driver authorization card. But as immigration controversies continue to dominate headlines, we're going to clear up confusion as to just what these cards allow. We hope you'll join us for those stories and more coming up in just a few minutes. But for now, I'll send it back to Katie with the weather. Katie. Well, Dave, thank you very much. And today, another nice, very sunny, warm day here across the valley as temperatures are on the rise. Yesterday, the coolest day in our roller coaster week of temperatures. Now, expecting to climb 
to 80s here as we head in towards late this week. Here's a peek at your sky cameras around the region and there's a lot of blue sky. There's a few high clouds moving in from the northwest. We'll see some of those as the evening goes on. Otherwise, temperatures right now are really comfortable at 65 degrees and only getting warmer. I might add here over the course of the next couple of days. We will see those 80s as early as Friday. Probably see maybe three or four days in the 80s. In fact, here heading in towards the upcoming weekend. Mercedes Lindsay, I'll send it back over to you guys. Well, this month is music in our school month and every week we feature a local school. So joining us are a few fifth graders from Forbes Elementary. Hey guys. Hi. Yay. I can't wait to hear you guys. Are we are we ready to do this? Yes. You got some good music for us? Yes. All right, we're going to say goodbye and we're going to let the kids take it away. Let's do this. Give a little time for the child within you. Don't be afraid to be young and free. Undo the locks and throw away the keys and take off your scissors and socks and run you. Shop the clearance center inside RC Willie for clearance.